Hello and uh, welcome to the channel. Today I will take a cup of coffee in the, the nature and also show you guys a new sleeping bag that I have bought. Uh, it's a winter sleeping bag. It's from Marmot and I will show you this. Uh, I will just uh, uh, fix the ground here so I can uh, take out the bag and test it a little bit. Uh, meanwhile the snow is melting in the Triangia and I will get myself a cup of coffee. So please, tag along. So uh, one of the reasons uh, why I bought this is of course that I want to be able to be outside in the wild even though it's uh, minus 20, minus uh, 30 degrees Celsius. So that's really important because if I, if I can't be, uh, have a comfortable night I will be tired and all this uh, forest stuff will go to waste so to say. So really I, I would like to have something that I can really rely on. So therefore I bought this one. So the Zek is taking up really big space in my backpack. This is a Zek 65 liter. But as you can see I don't have much with me today. But almost all the space down here is uh, taking the place for the, the sleeping bag. So let's take it out. This is the sleeping bag. This is the compression sack, so it's uh, the weight I will put up in the corner, but I guess it's around 2.2, 2.3 kilos, not that much of, of what you're getting. So it's today about minus 10 degrees Celsius, it's not that cold and I have just walked away here so I'm pretty hot. Yes, let's fluff it up a little bit. It's made of uh, uh, Pertex Shield, I think they call it. So it's uh, water resistant or waterproof, they also say at least down here in the foot down. And I think it's almost everything. It's uh, uh, The shield is made in China and the rest is made in the United States of America. So it's well made, I think. Yes. So. Let this fluff up. I will check the coffee. Yes, this will be enough. So, let's talk a little bit more about this bag. But what is really interesting is that you have a zipper up here 
which you of course can open. And you can sit in this, climb in this way, instead of, instead of having the opening down on, on the ground. We will crawl in and getting snow in and stuff like that. Uh, what you also have in this backpack bag is uh, opening for your arms to get out. So that's really good to have, I think. Uh, so that's, that's some of the features that I really, really like about this bag. As you can see, the loft is getting higher and higher. This is uh, 800 plus uh, fill power, so it's really, really good. Even though I have uh, sleeping bags with higher uh, fill power. Anyway. You also have uh, some cinch, cinch cord here, where you can cinch down this, close it up. You also have a button here for the color. Uh, and also a cinch cord there, so you can really tighten it if it's cold. And the one other good feature is, of course, you have... I will show you a, a little bit closer later, but uh, you have uh, some really good uh, pockets down by your ties. Ties and also you have uh, a little zip pocket here. Uh, I don't think I can uh, put in my phone, but I can put in some some spare batteries, of course, and uh, also have two pockets here, which I think it's almost on the breast, uh, uh, so it's and it's no no zip, no nothing, so it's almost so, so everything can. If you put something there, I'm a little bit skeptical because it will probably fall out. So that's, that's that. I will try to get into the sleeping bag and make a, a, a try. I have this, uh, so I see what I do with this. The warmest uh, pad we're going to get. We're starting to get really cold here. on this color okay I uh, this time I also had trouble you have to excuse me about that but I had trouble with the sound on the in the video from now on to the end so I will speak like this instead 
and talk about what we see here. Uh, I also put up a GoPro on the, the right side here but uh, to get some other angles but uh, somehow I managed to put it on uh, some kind of uh, making a picture ever minute instead so uh, that didn't go well either so both the sound and uh, the picture with the GoPro didn't work as I was thinking cheers anyway I'm sitting here taking a sip from my coffee in the, the sleeping bag and um, it is really good and uh, cozy in this sleeping bag Yeah, it's a little bit cold in my hands at this part. Um, it was about minus 10 degrees Celsius. And what you can see, what I'm doing right here is to close this, uh, uh, where I put out my arms, to close them a little bit more so no, not as much heat go out from the the armpits or arm holes or ventilation holes the right and the left yes what I'm doing here is uh, fixing the microphone which didn't of course work I'm uh, really impressed with this uh, sleeping bag and as you can see I have a really really thin uh, pad underneath I bought it cheap for many many years ago and uh, I don't think we can talk about our values for this uh, uh, sleeping pad because it's it's really really thin and low so I s should say it's okay it's some isolation of course but uh, mainly to to keep the the snow from uh, hitting the sleeping bag directly bag directly oh, let's sit again and eating this chocolate uh, uh, sugar cake so to say really good together with this coffee and as you can see it's really convenient to sit in the sleeping bag and do stuff uh, you can do whatever. In this this example, I'm drinking coffee and eating some some food. Hello there. Mm, yes. Uh, now I'm getting a more relaxed uh, position, and I must say this this was really really comfortable to to lay down. And uh, to be honest, I could have a, a continue lying there but I have to <laughs> had to go back eventually because uh, because it wasn't the plan to sleep the material feels really really good so uh, what I'm doing right now is to put in my hands of course to try to zip uh, shut the, the zippers for the arms as you can see And as you also can see here, I have some trouble or I struggle to get this shot uh, the right side in my sleeping bag. And it's, it's a little bit tricky. So if I have to complain on something uh, right now regarding the sleeping bag, is the zipper to close these ones. But I managed to find a way, uh, a little trick there to... to take my other hand and uh, help uh, to, to close the zipper. You can of course open the middle zipper as well and uh, do it from the outside. That's possible, of course. But it's not uh, what I would like to do to let the heat out from the sleeping bag.
you can see some flames on the right there. It's from my Triangia that I have uh, boiled the, the coffee. So you can't see that because of the GoPro uh, failure, so to say. Yes, uh, the sleeping bag is really, really cozy and big. Uh, and as you can see here, I'm trying to put myself on the side position to sleep. And it works really, really good. No problem at all. I'm uh, 180 centimeters, uh, and this sleeping bag is 183 centimeters. So, so no problem at all. And uh, I have much space in this sleeping bag, to be honest. I could, uh, yeah, I could put much clothes in there if I want to. Okay, here I change my position to an upright position, sitting. And uh, now I'm opening the main zipper, the middle zipper. And uh, this is a really convenient uh, position, to be honest. You have a big space, you have a cover uh, from wind and uh, also you get some uh, heat from from the sleeping bag, bag uh, from the right and, and left side and also from your back and the head and also if you look at the legs they are uh, when I put me in this position it, it uh, cuts off the, the warmth that is coming from the, the legs uh, so uh, the heat is uh, standing still uh, in the leg area, so to say, almost. So this is really good. I have uh, big uh, possibilities to do whatever I want. Drink a cup of coffee, eat something or, or, or just do whatever I want to do. It's a good material. Which I'm feeling it right here. Paratex uh, shield it's called. Mm, so it's uh, water resistant and waterproof. They, I think they also mention and also windproof. So that's really really good. Here you see uh, the cinch cords I can uh, cinch uh, the hood uh, both the hood, of course, and this uh, collar. Uh, or what you call it. What I'm searching here is the button that uh, put this together, the sides. Like that. Really good to keep it in place. And uh, here I'm checking the the stopper by the zippers, and it's really, really good and sturdy stuff.
Okay, so it's time to uh, yeah, crawl out of this warm sleeping bag and uh, go outside. It's time for this uh, acrobatic movements, moves. So as you can see also this is uh, really good. When you open the zipper you have it uh, in the middle part. Uh, you can stand directly and, and uh, crawl in and crawl out and you don't need necessarily to get uh, snow inside. The sleeping bag. So what we are looking at here is, uh, I put my hand inside uh, one of the pockets. These pockets are located on the, yeah, on the left side of the breast, so, and it's no locking mechanism. So I don't really know what to put in these pockets, uh, but uh, maybe a phone. And here I'm just looking at. Uh, zipper for the ventilation or where you can put out your arms from the inside. Really good padded. And here I'm checking out a smaller uh, pocket with the zipper. It's uh, as big as my fingers in my hand, so you maybe can put some uh, batteries or, or smaller stuff that you want to have uh, handy or warm. And uh, down uh, on the left and right side you have these uh, mesh pockets, really really big and stretchy. And there you can put uh, whatever. Here you can see a close up on this. There you have the stretch pocket as you can see. <coughs> really, really big. You can have no problem fit a uh, one liter bottle. And here you see the breast uh, pockets. And also the zip pocket. Yes, it's located there. Okay, what I'm observing right here is uh, some ice or snow uh, on the sleeping bag outside. And it might be that uh, I got from home and uh, the sleeping bag was still a little bit warm and it might have uh, melt a little bit of snow and then it got uh, frozen outside the sleeping bag. So I don't think it's the heat that is coming out from the sleeping bag. Uh, nevertheless, the, if the ice is outside the sleeping bag, there is no problem, I think.
yeah, so I don't really remember what I talked about here, but I think I talked about the material and stuff like that. Here I'm putting together my triangle after the cup of coffee and uh, the cookie. So now it's time to try to pack this uh, sleeping bag into the compression bag or should we say the bag and then you can compress it. So as you can see here you have this uh, compression straps and uh, it's a really big uh, compression sack but it's needed because this uh, bag has uh, 800 plus fill power and it's really really big so I usually start with a foot end and put that down and uh, what I do right now I push the sleeping bag into the to the bag uh, and then I turn the sleeping bag with the compression sack so to say and uh, that is how I packed uh, the sleeping bag how do you do guys do you do it like this or do you have another method I think at least this is uh, easy and it works for me but as you can see it's really really fluff and you have to get rid of this air and compress the down like that and now it's time to do the so-called compression of the bag. You can see, I mean, when if you're using pulk and stuff like that, you don't need to do it like this. Of course, you, you don't need to compress it more. But if you, as I am doing right now, using a backpack and you want to put it inside the backpack, you need to compress it at least with this backpack that I'm using. <clears throat> okay, it's time to... And then I do one strap at a time, a little bit, and then I just turn it and continue like this. Yes, and that's that. As you can see, it's really, really small uh, when you compress it. If you think about the temperature rating of uh, 40 Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius. 
much bag for this size, I must, must say. So I just uh, adding some pressure on the straps. So now it's time to put it into the backpack. I had some struggle putting it in to the backpack, but uh, then all of a sudden it just slide in so somehow uh, I managed to to find the right way to put it in and uh, still there are uh, really hard to close my backpack uh, because it's uh, such a small backpack for winter use I should say it's a 65 liter so I should have had a bigger and I think that if you have a bigger backpack this this wouldn't be an issue or a problem to fit this uh, sleeping bag So, now that's done, so to summarize this, because that's what I'm trying to do in the movie here, is that I'm really impressed, uh, this is of course my first impression, so I shouldn't say that I am convinced yet, and I haven't tried it in minus uh, 20 or minus 30 degrees Celsius. I don't know if it will work or not. But what I can say is that uh, it right now feels like a really, really good sleeping bag for the conditions that I am uh, facing in the environment that I live in. And also I want to have some margins for the comfort temperature because I yeah I I sleep really cold so I want to have the the margin sort of say so that's I think that wraps up this uh, video and if you have some comments or if you have some experience about uh, marmot sleeping bags please let me know in the comments below and uh, if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and uh, if you don't already do that uh, consider subscribing so you don't miss out uh, of any upcoming movies or something like that <clears throat> so I think I say goodbye for this time and uh, hope to see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.